Here are the five habits that have absolutely propelled me to success in my life, and I'm gonna share them with you today. I'm Matt Smith here with All or Nothing in Real Estate. I believe that your life is shaped by the habits and the actions that you take or do not take each and every day. In addition to that, there's a few other hacks that I've learned along the way that I'm gonna share with you. I've broken them down into five habits that I believe in that have absolutely propelled my life and my future, and I think it can do yours as well. Number one, everything starts with mindset. So you have to have a winning mindset. You have to develop a winning mindset. You have to have mental toughness, and I think it's important to think when you're thinking mindset, what are you feeding your mind? Are you reading books every day? Are you listening to podcasts? Are you around people that are giving you knowledge to help you grow in the areas that you seek growth? And so have a growing mindset, have an open-mindedness to learn new things, I think is super, super crucial. Another part of mindset is, again, mental toughness. Business is tough, life is tough. Life happens to all of us. But if you can develop a mindset to turn your adversities into your strengths and learn from those lessons, life will become easy and you'll continue to grow and evolve. So number two is what are you feeding and strengthening your body? So are you taking care of yourself, not only mental health, but physical health? Me, myself, I've been on several physical and mental health journeys. 75 Heart is a great program that I recommend. I've done it four times. I highly recommend it if you're looking to have mental toughness, learn some discipline and level up in life. It's a vehicle that really propels you to that quickly in life in 75 days. So there's a program that you can do, but I believe that mental toughness is important, but also if you feel better, you want to do more. And so you have to take care of your body, feed your body healthy foods, work out each and every day, and make sure that you protect your mind and your body at all costs. Because if you don't feel good, it's hard to do good things. Well, I also believe that action creates momentum. You've heard the old saying of a body in motion stays in motion. And so you have to get up. If you do more, you feel better. Like as an example, when I was on my health and fitness journey, and I still am, I remember mornings waking up, not wanting to go work out. You wanted to hit the snooze button. You wanted to sleep in. But after that workout, after I forced myself to do that workout, I felt so proud of myself and had super productive day afterwards. Probably some of the most productive days in recent history. Because I forced myself to do something and remain disciplined, built confidence, and it made me feel better about myself, and the rest of the day was easy. So challenge yourself, take care of your body, and you will have better days. Number three, find important role models. Role models, I owe so many people so much of my success to amazing role models in my life. Mentors, role models, and I'm constantly seeking more people People, more people that are proven, people that you can look up to, people that have done things that I wanna do in my life that were, are willing to give me that information and help me learn and evolve along the way. You need people that you can look up to, people that inspire you, and people that are there to when days don't go so well. Maybe when you fall, you have a bad day, people that can help pick you up. It's super important you have great role models in your life and you're always seeking that role model, again, that is proven, not theory, to help you become better each and every day. And so as you're looking for a role model, if maybe you're struggling, you don't have one, or you need to learn more, I highly recommend check out podcasts, listen to different books, watch YouTube videos. Again, find someone that's proven, that's actually walked the talk of what you want to accomplish, not someone that's trying to sell you a course, be careful, right? But there are a lot of legitimate people on there that are doing mentorship in different ways this way. It doesn't have to be one-on-one, -on -one. it could be one to many. Like as an example, we do a podcast. Our podcast is designed to mentor and help people walk the path that we've walked. And so it doesn't have to be ours, but find someone that speaks your language, someone that is your tribe, so to speak, that you can look up to, to help you have that person to aspire to be and to be, continue to become more and become better. And number four, proximity is power. I say this all the time. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you're around five people, people that are completely broke, you'll become the sixth. If you hang around five people that are millionaires, you'll become the sixth. Anything works that way. That is just how life works. You become the people that you hang around. Your environment, your network equals your net worth. And so who are you hanging around? See, I, as I've grown through Inspired through my journey, this is a big one for me. This kind of ties into mentorship, but I want to take it a step further. Let's say that you're someone in your life and you you are the big fish in a small pond. In the rooms you go in, you're the smartest person, you're the most productive, you're the most successful, and it makes you feel good, it feeds your ego. What I will tell you is your ego is not your amigo. 
You need to get into rooms where you feel uncomfortable. You need to get yourself into rooms where you're around people that are pushing you to become better, people that are above you, and you need to become that small fish in a big pond. Because if you want to grow and develop, you have to be around people that have done more, that are wanting to do more, and are willing to hold you accountable to those things that you wanna accomplish in your life. And number five, this is the most important. None of the other four matter if you're not willing to take massive action. You see, I don't believe in theory, I believe in proven. You have to make sure you take the action. You can have the best intentions, you can have the best desire in the world, but that is not enough. You have to take massive action to accomplish those goals. You see, I remember back in elementary school, there was something that was written on the walls and they had the right intentions, but they were teaching the wrong lesson. The words were knowledge is power. What I believe is knowledge is useless without the implementation of that knowledge. See, just knowing something doesn't do you any good. Taking that knowledge and putting it to action to good use, that's where the magic happens. So fail forward, take action, take massive action, and you can accomplish anything that you want in this world. I wanna close the video with this. Life is about choices. Let me tell you about a choice that you get to make with these five. You get to choose to do them or choose not to do them. That is your choice. But I will also tell you that your choices have consequences. And so not making a choice is still a choice and you get to choose your heart. You get to choose the sacrifice that you make. You either make sacrifices for the life that you want or the life that you want becomes a sacrifice. The choice is yours.